Hi there everyone, my name is Zach and welcome to my channel. Amongst other things, I'm a reenactor and a jouster and uh, I also enjoy watching YouTube quite a lot. Um, this week I really enjoyed watching Metatron's new video. So Metatron, um, if you're watching, thank you very much. Um, and uh, it's about your new gothic cuirass and uh, uh, I'm really enjoyed it. I I'm really excited to see more armour. It's always great to see nice reproductions um, and great to see them being worn as well. Really nice, uh, nicely fitted as well. Um, one of the things, uh, what really inspired me to make this video was just looking at the shoulders, uh, the spaulders that you were wearing with it. Um, I'm going to put a little photo up of the uh, spaulders um, right now. And as you can see, um, in the, I mean, if you haven't seen the video, go and watch it, but uh, Metatron was having issues with the right arm and the spolder catching under his breastplate. Um, and he said about making some modifications. There would be something that I would try first of all um, in trying to sort out this issue, and that would be lacing it higher up um, so that the top of it is nearer to the throat. If you have a look at the left spolder, the uh, um, it's not fouling because the point on the spalder, uh, that is the metal point rather than the points themselves, the metal point on the spalder is actually higher up on the shoulder and above um, the place where it would actually go under. You might still have issues with these um, fouling if you were to raise your arms too high, um, possibly high and back, and you would end up uh, uh, with them going under the cuirass at the front there, but uh, uh, it's much less likely. Uh, on the right one, however, you can see that the top of the spalder is between an inch and um, and half an inch too low, or lower than the other shoulder at least, and uh, this causes the uh, uh, the point on the front of the shoulder to work its way underneath the front of the cuirass. This uh, um, this can then obviously cause issues and cause the spalder itself to um, to lock up your arm um, which if you were fighting for real would be a big problem. So first things first um, you can try um, tying it higher up uh, just that might just be making the knot a bit tighter um, or it might be moving where you attach it to. Now for me myself when I'm wearing my spalders um, I have um, my points going through my doublet at the shoulder and then they go through my male standard and then they also go through holes that I have in my cuirasses um, straps. Now I don't actually have any evidence of this, um, of it going through the cuirass straps, but um, a l most cuirasses actually don't, um, don't actually main have their original straps still on so it's it's kind of impossible to tell one way or another whether this was actually done most of the people that i know um actually do something very similar to this um they have the points coming through the doublet and then they go through the male standard and then they will make sure that they are resting on the right on the um neck side i should say the neck side of the strap so it's not on the um, the shoulder side of the strap, it's on the neck side of the strap before lacing on the spalder. Now, um, Raph, if, if you're watching this and I'm teaching you to suck eggs, I'm really sorry, but I th thought some people might be interested in this and I thought it might be of some help to you, um, just in case. Um, anyway, so... If you don't want to punch holes in the strap, that is uh, uh, that is another way that you can keep the points on um, on a higher level than before. Um, this then, uh, uh, so either having the holes in the strap or having them on the neck side of the strap, the points on the neck side of the strap will hold the points in a certain position in a higher way and stop the spalder from drooping down and hopefully then stop the point at the front there from going underneath the cuirass. Um, this might not work, um, in which case one issue that I might suggest uh, those spalders might need uh, looking at 
would be making the central plate, I'll put the photo up again, making the central plate more rounded. Um, the part that goes over the actual crest of the shoulder needs to fit the whole shoulder in. And it might be if that curve there on the shoulder is too flat, then that actually pushes your spalder down, which will then cause the point of the spalder to go underneath the front of the cuirass instead of sitting high up over the, um, the highest point where it attaches to the, uh, to the strap there. So that I hope that might be of some help to you, Raph. I know you, that you said that you were um, thinking of making some modifications. Um, hopefully that might solve it and make it uh, uh, a lot easier. In changing um, the way that it's pointed is the easiest modification to make. Um, everyone, thank you for watching. Um, I'm sorry it's a really short one this week. Um, if you've got any questions or comments or anything like that, do let me know. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing and subscribing if you've done all of those things. If you haven't, now's a great time to do it. See you soon. Bye-bye.